Hello there, today is February 5th, 2015, and I'm going to document some of my um, my battery charging and battery monitoring uh, projects that I have going on. Uh, this is my latest cell monitoring module. Let me zoom in on it. On this module, the two terminals are spaced for a 40 amp hour uh, cald lithium iron phosphate cell. Um, in the circuit, so there's one per cell, but the circuit consists of a quad op amp and some other transistors to, to propagate the data. Um, the way this board works is it outputs um, these pulses that are separated by time. And I have uh, 40, 48 circuits on a battery pack, 160 volt battery pack. So there's 48 cells, 48 circuits. Um, they're connected. Uh, via an opto isolated interface and on the scope I'm showing at the top all 144 pulses and then it's magnified in there's a single trigger and then each um, each circuit has three pulses so that's why there's 144 pulses and 48 circuits so 48 times 3 and that all comes over to my Arduino Dewey and then there's an interface board here and the Dewey will decode that information and display it on my Android tablet. So at the top you can see um, all 48 cell voltages. I'm getting about uh, plus or minus 1% accuracy. Let me see if it'll focus in down below. It shows me my minimum cell voltage and my maximum cell voltage. It's not going to focus. And what I'm going to demonstrate is, you know, all these circuits work well on the bench, but then when you, in the presence of the, the noisy switching of the inverter, um, my communication was going to hell, and I was unsuccessful at. Um, getting the cell voltages under operation but I'm going to show that I've remedied that it was um, my opto isolator circuit needed some improvement and I'm going to charge this battery pack um, using my through motor charging I have a Prius motor and a Prius inverter and I'm going to use the inverter as the, the battery charger so the AC lines are coming into the inverter uh, again the Dewey is also controlling the charging. I'm going to use this meter to show the AC power coming in. I'm going to charge at about four and a half kilowatts. And I want to get this documented that I now have all 48 cells being monitored. So I'm going to turn on, I'm going to switch this little relay here and it's going to turn on the uh, the charging process and you'll see the cell voltages are being updated every two seconds. So you'll see them start to increase when it updates. So there we go. So every two seconds. So right now I'm putting about 30 amps into the pack. And so if they get above, you know, three point, if one cell goes up to 3.5, and then you can see on this meter over here, I'm at 4.6 kilowatts power factor and harmonic distortion is all on that meter. So we're charging the batteries and I'm still getting, um, there's some noise on the data. You can see now the the 16 kilohertz switching, uh, but I'm still getting good, good signal integrity. So turn off the charging. We walk over here to the battery pack. You zoom in here so that the northernmost cell and there each each circuit is connected with the um, that one wire so one board will send a trigger to the southern board and then the, um, the data propagates all the way through the chain so it's a single wire three pulse um, I call it, it's pulse position, 
modulated. So the, the position of the pulses is how the Arduino can decode the cell voltages. So now I can actually program the Arduino to charge the battery and then react to a, a single cell voltage. So you can see it flattens out again when I stop charging. And damn it, you can't read the... So the battery pack voltage on the JLD. So let me, I'm going to turn on the um, current so we can look at the current flowing. Okay, so 0.2 amps. Uh, that's powering the boost circuit right now in the inverter. And then when I turn on the AC line, you got 30 amps going into the uh, battery pack. It is sinusoidal at 120 hertz right now. Um, if I do put a, a battery current, battery pack current meter on there, I can regulate that to be more DC-like. I've calculated that the, the bus cap that's on the Prius is large enough for me to, to filter that out. I just don't have a battery current sensor. Um, tapped into my Arduino so I can't regulate the the current to be more DC so there is a uh, 120 Hertz or 60 Hertz times 2 uh, current going into the battery but it seems to not bother the monitoring circuit at all and um, that's all I got